Just like any video camera, the DataVideo PTC150 and PTC150T PTZ cameras have settings that can be adjusted to improve the camera's performance and better fit your shooting situation. In this tutorial, we will show you some advanced features of your PTC150 and PTC150T cameras, as well as the RMC180 camera controller that will improve image quality and give you more creativity with your shots. This will apply for both the PTC150 and PTC150T, which both have the same camera block and performance specs. The only difference is the addition of HDBase-T to the PTC150T, which has a single Ethernet cable powering the camera and carrying all of the signals. To start, let's enter the menu. You can do this by pressing the left knob under the display on the RMC180 camera controller. Using the right knob, Navigate to the Camera Set Advanced menu, which will have all the settings we are going to adjust in this video. First, select ACG in the menu by pressing the right knob. Adjust the auto gain control to on. If you are shooting indoors or in low light, keeping it on will allow you to see in darker areas of your set. Set the gain limit to 21 dB so that you can get better low light performance but not have too much noise in your images. The final adjustment we will make is going to be the pedestal effect. This enables exposure compensation which will engage the iris or auto gain control depending on the shooting situation. For best results we recommend setting the pedestal effect to 4 or 5. You will notice the effect more when you zoom in on darker areas from a wide shot. The pedestal effect will allow the camera to brighten up as you zoom in, as the aperture is topped out. The maximum aperture and auto gain control limit will both still apply when you adjust the pedestal effect. Now that we have a properly exposed image, let's adjust the color. If you find the saturation of color to look flat in your PTC-150 out of the box, you can make your images more vibrant by adjusting the vivid effect. Increase the vivid effect to 9 or 10 to give the colors in your image an extra punch of saturation. Depending on your lighting conditions, especially with the highlights and skin tones in your image, increasing the vivid effect too much can have an unnatural look. On the RMC180 controller, there are a few advanced features that are available for you to use in your productions. As you may have learned in our last PT250 tutorial, you can do presets for each of your cameras using the store button for each camera preset button on all of your channels. You can also set the speed of the camera movement during each preset. To do this, go through the menu on the RMC180 and select memory speed. Setting your memory speed to 1 will be slowest and 18 will be fastest. Presets with slow speeds can be used as automatic camera movements and faster speeds can be used to quickly move from shot to shot. You must set the memory speed before assigning your camera presets. Be sure to remember that when you recall a preset, it will only recall at the memory speed at the time the preset was written and not the current memory speed value in the RMC180. This allows you to set a different memory speed for each preset if desired. You can adjust the joystick direction and screen mode to match your camera position if you hang it upside down. First select the channel that has the camera you would like to adjust. Then use the screen mode option to flip and mirror your image into the correct orientation. Use the joystick direction option to also horizontally and vertically flip and mirror your controls to match the camera's position. We hope everything you learn in this tutorial helps you get the best possible images when shooting with your PTC-150 and PTC-150T camera with your RMC-180 controller. For more data video tips and tricks, check out the other videos in our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.